is a limitation for moving things on the roof, which is the weight. So here, in the case of these bars, the maximum weight negated for both of them is 80 kilos. So this is the piece of furniture, and you can make a kind of manual check to see if it's wide enough. So here it's really the maximum, but it fits. Let's take the measurements of this uh, cupboard. I'm taking the measurement tape from the best toolbox in the world. And this here, the width is 116, and the height is 144. Now what we have to do is to remove all the parts of this cupboard for uh, limiting the weight, especially for lifting it on the roof. Here I have an empty box. This is the brand of the dog of my food. Uh, and I'm keeping them all because I have many of them, which is ideal for the storage. And I also have some champagne uh, boxes. But this one is heavy and of course the same brand than before. Very nice paper. This is not without remembering how to remove tenacious boards from the wall. I won't, I won't remove the doors because uh, I would need to unscrew. So now uh, the weight for lifting it is by far sufficient. So now I have pre-positioned the roof bars. So here the uh, distance between both is absolutely ideal for the cupboard. Here the system of fixing is very easy. It's just with a little key. And make sure that your roof bars are really at 90 degrees in the direction of the car. Otherwise you will have difficulties for fixing the ends. And now we are pre-positioning the strap Two little hints here. The first one is make sure that the ratchet is uh, in the right direction for later, otherwise you will have to change everything. And you can see here that I'm making one loop around each bar. This will uh, enable to maintain the piece of furniture perfectly well. Make sure that the straps are really positioned in a flat way that um, it is well even for later. One little command on the green strap with a hook. Here make sure that the hook is quite close to the bar because don't forget that the ratchet is itself quite long. And here again the command about the positioning of the ratchet. You see here that the axis for opening it is on the back and that the movable part is on the roof. Because this cover here over there, put on the roof and I'm close, you can just 
Make sure that both persons involved are okay about which direction, otherwise there's a risk that the cupboard will be falling. I told you that this car is absolutely amazing because I could put here a uh, quite large uh, lounge table of which you will see the renovation later. So now we're fixing the piece of furniture with the straps. Again, make sure that the strap is flat and that there's no fold. Of course, the best is to wrap the piece of furniture uh, within a blanket. Here I'm just using a towel for protecting the front against insects and this will be particularly of relevance during the summer time. Now I'm going to insert the strap into the ratchet. Of course we make sure that the strap is well flat and then we are inserting it here into the ratchet. I'm pulling as much as I can. And now I can activate the ratchet. So we'll be tightening it, but not too much, otherwise it can damage this piece here. So we're checking out that it's well flat and then you can insert it into this here. Now we pull. Here in the case of the green strap we are fixing the hooks on the bottom. You see here the problem that I announced before, which is that the bottom hook uh, was too high, which makes it now I don't have much margin for fixing the ratchet you see on the top. Here we still have a lot of strap left, and this will be very useful for the lateral fixings. Here a little mistake, I should have better made a couple of knots, simple knots for fixing the strap because now as uh, the strap is so long I will block it into the door but of course the door has no real fixing power. Now I made the lateral fixing with the green strap for the back and now for the front I will be using the small straps I've shown you in my first video.
here I don't have enough length so I'm taking an extension. Here, same comment than before, better make some simple knots for making sure that the strap is fixed on the roof bar. That's it my friends, this is the end of this video. Let me add that you will save a lot of money because you won't be uh, hiring a car. Nevertheless, careful, uh, you will have an increase of gas consumption between 20 and 40%. This video will be added to the playlist Practical Life on which you will already find a video about how to repair the curl free basket of your dishwasher. So see you very soon on Happy Hour TV 1.